Hello, made an update. Uh, added a rotary dip uh, project to the debugger. So, if you'd like to try this out, first uh, get the free CPP compiler, and then you will go to uh, GitHub and oh, and you will download uh, the repository as a zip file. The the GitHub directory is GitHub Power Arduino Debugger. Then you will place that you will unzip that to a directory called Arduino Debugger. And that will give you a dev you want to use that name that way the um, include directories are all match up. So if when you double click on this development you will bring the you up to this and you do a rebuild all, rebuild all the code. And then you go ahead and run, compile and run. Now the project you're going to load that I added was rotary dip. The first time you load that it'll tell you to rebuild so you'll have to you have to exit out and then <coughs> rebuild all and then run again. Select the project. Now this is the second time so it's not going to tell me to reload. So these are my three rotary dips and they have six pins each. These two I connect to ground. Are you and and then as you click, the, these other four pins will then connect to ground. So uh, what I do is I initialize the other pins to be to be to set the pull-up resistor, and you know, and then as you click they will go low and this is my little procedure to read those pins as they go low I increase the value and you can see I'm reading three rotary dips this is the hundreds tens and ones and then when the value changes I just output it to the serial port which I am showing over here through a monitor so let's just click do some click that as I click on this, you'll see it updates the value. One, it's one, one twenty-three. And this should click four forty-six. Yeah, and then as you wrap, when you wrap around, it will go back to correct. So, next I think I'm going to try a shift register. I think that'll be pretty cool. Thanks.